La La Land, the follow-up from the highly acclaimed Whiplash by director and writer Damien Chazelle, starring Emma Stone as a budding actress Mia and Ryan Gosling as Sebastian, a struggling jazz musician. So Chazelle's idea was to take old school music and bring it into uh, the modern society where things don't always work out and they don't always go to plan. So the film is about chasing a dream, chasing that impossible dream and struggling to make it in an industry that you feel is so far away from you. And what I love about this film is the passion that both of these characters have for what they want. Uh, obviously the two characters are in a relationship together and they are helping each other get to that next level but no matter what happens, their passion for what they love never dies. But I love that no matter what stands in front of them, they're always trying to push themselves to that next level. Singing and dancing performances from both of the main stars in this film is definitely first class with standout piano performances by Ryan Gosling. So we enter the film with a huge performance. Everybody gets out of their car, everybody starts singing, starts dancing on top of the cars all over this huge long bridge. And then that's kind of the only real big performance number in the whole film. Other than that you kind of get uh, a couple of little ones by Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling does play the piano quite a lot in the film but what I do love about that is even when you for instance you get Ryan Gosling playing the piano it's not like you're being bombarded with loads of musical performances it's this really nice smooth piano work and obviously it is jazz music and it's just really nice to listen to rather than feeling like you're in a musical I think I heard in a couple of interviews um, from the director and himself, he spent about four hours a day for about four months learning how to play the piano and how to play these pieces of music. And even Damien Chazelle said afterwards that he wasn't only at the level that he, need, he needed him to be playing the piano in the film, he'd gone past that, he'd gone to a professional level of piano work. I think that that's absolutely fantastic. And another thing that I absolutely love is kind of this like, for me it felt like I was uh, in the 50s, kind of, uh, it had like a 50s uh, noir kind of style to it and I really do love that, um, that it gives that kind of feel to the movie. I really wouldn't say that there was anything out there like this at the moment, um, not just the fact that it's a musical film but even musical films in the last 10 or 20 years I don't think that there's anything out there that's kind of close to this kind of film, um, the only one that kind of springs to mind is the other one from uh, the other film from Damien Chazelle, Whiplash, where it is all about the music. But this one kind of feels like we're in really old school kind of musical film, um, except it's got less musical numbers in it, as I've mentioned before. This really is, for me, one of the best films that I've ever seen. It's definitely my favourite film of 2016. Uh, I'd definitely say go and watch this film. I'd really urge anybody of any age to go and watch this. Whether you like musicals or not, this is definitely a film for everyone of all ages. Um, so for me, I would give this film a 10 out of 10. I honestly do think it was fantastic. Uh, it's the best performance by far from both of these um, from both of these actors, and I do really think it was one of the best films of 2016.